Um, <clears throat> like obviously all films, manipulation a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, is there a point? Well, I noticed you guys use like when you show the titles, a little bit of creepy music. Sure. After yeah. You finish that. Sure. Is there a point in your editing process where you think that maybe you're manipulating too much? Sure. I yeah, definitely. But but you know you kind of have an inner, uh, you have like kind of an inner sense of what is fair and what isn't fair. Uh, we don't. I don't think we. Sure, we are using music to kind of amp up the drama, but I think it serves a larger purpose. Uh, you know, there there's very few docs that don't use music in that way. Um, I don't think there's anything in this film that isn't like completely factual. Um, we don't make stuff up. Uh, but you're right, we do use music to kind of bring out an emotional response that's fair. Hey, so this was such a great film. Thank cool. you for making it. Thank I, you. I remind it again, I want to watch it again. Uh, can you talk a little bit about when you're sitting with Charles Ferguson, the director, and you're yeah. thinking, maybe we need a voice over here, maybe we don't, or maybe the yeah. point is made clear through the narration. Can you yeah. talk just a little bit about that process, yeah. how you decided maybe voice over here, not here? Yeah, I mean, it really comes down to whether or not the interview subjects are explaining it for you and are explaining it in um, you know, a, a sensible, good way, a cinematic way. Um, a lot of times you'll find that if you just go sound bite, sound bite, sound bite, it doesn't work. It doesn't, it, it's too many sound bites. It gets to be like overwhelming. So you use voiceover and you use cards and you use music to break things up to, to give the film sort of a rhythm. Um, it, it, we always start with just the interview subjects we try to tell the story with the footage that's been shot as much as possible. You know, we'd prefer not to use as much voiceover in general. I think Charles would agree with that. Um, but generally, you know, he has kind of an idea, an outline of what he wants to get across, and he'll send that to me, and then, you know, since I'm engaged with the actual structuring and, and the process, I'll send it back to him, and, you know, it's a back and forth between me and him and Adam Bolt, who's the other editor. And uh, It's a very organic process. We all just want to, you know, make it as accessible as possible. And that's what determines the, the voiceover. 